Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I'll be reading I'm the Queen in This Life, episode 17. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Poor little girl. Like, I wonder at this very moment that she realized that her sister is a scummy person that she got used like is the term full-blooded sister really matter you know like i have full blood full-blooded family members and they are like pos you know like family doesn't really hold much value if you are around scummy people you know like I take my friends over that person any day. Like, the person that is my full blood family member, you know? Oh, poor girl. Oh, look at that. This is so perfect. Now I can play as much as I want and rearrange my piece for the mess. Oh, but I can help but wonder. Why is it that Isabel always gets what she wants? Oh, the du dum is a sound I just heard in my head. Yet, I'm never quite good enough. I'm the queen in this life, episode 17. Stun, stun. I see you finally had the pipe organ that you wanted. Oh. So, in return for having Isabella ask Mother for a pipe organ on your behalf, you agreed to let her announce your hymn under her own name, correct? Mm. And does it feel good to get what you wanted? Ding. I don't know. But I don't know why Isabella said she'll only help if she got to play my song in her name. That's wrong, isn't it? Hmm. She is planting a seed, okay? Sadly, people don't always do the right thing, Arabella. But Isabella's my full-blooded sister. She might be mean to you sometimes, but she wouldn't do that to me. Uh, oh. Then why is it that you were never allowed to have a pipe organ until Isabella suddenly wanted one? Mother and father know full well that Isabella has no interest in musical instruments. Aren't they your parents too? Haven't you ever wondered why your tutor set the pace to Isabella's progress when you're a much faster learner? <gasps> Arabella. The longer you stay silent and refuse to make a fuss, no one will ever know that you've been wronged. Don't you see what happened? Isabella stole your music from you. Oh, don't you see what happened? Isabella stole your music from you. Stop. Stop it. I won't have any more of your nonsense. You might be flying high for the moment, but that doesn't give you the right to insult my sister. My mother and sister both love me with all their heart. And what's more, I'm a true Demare, unlike you. You're nothing but a fraud. <laughs> I was in denial once, just like she is. After all, facing the truth would have been would have broken me. But I can't be the one to save that child. I've done all that I can for her. Now, let us begin. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Wow. Oh, oh. what? Oh no. <gasps> what do I do? I must have mixed up the score somehow. <gasps> oh. Huh? Thank you, Miss Demer. That brings us to the end of the recital. However, I do hope you can satisfy our curiosity. 
There's a rather unusual part in the middle of this melody. May I ask what your intentions were with the segment? <laughs> well, I'd hope to place an extra emphasis on the melody at that part. I see. That seems like a bold choice to make. Even so, the beginning of the pipe organ solo feels incredibly out of place. For one, the scale suddenly shifts from C to A. Most instrumentalists would struggle to cover the range with one hand, so it was difficult to play this part in practice. Miss Demare, would you mind demonstrating this part for us? <gasps> oh ho ho! Oh! Are you asking me to play the score myself? No, Isabella doesn't know how to read sheet music. Call yourself professional musicians and you can't even change scales? You should be ashamed! Uh -uh. I need to have her back. Hold on! Uh. The version of the score must be missing the string instruments. The change in scale wasn't intentional. It would be impossible to play it by hand, obviously. There's simply a segment missing from this part. That's why I changed it like this. <gasps> oh, oh. oh, wait. I thought Miss Isabella composed this piece herself. <gasps> Ooh. I knew it. No one ever said Isabella de Mare has any talent for music. Oh, <laughs> how could she steal her own sister's work? <laughs> how brazen of her. Oh, oh. Yikes. A moment, please. <laughs> it seems there was a misunderstanding of sorts. This piece was composed by these two sisters in collaboration. Isabella came up with the overall motifs, whereas Arabella took care of the details. Since Isabella made her own contribution to the piece, in fact, since it's fair to say that she was the main composer. I hope that our esteemed guests won't be spreading around untowards her hearsay. <laughs> Is that really the truth? Oh, Is that really the truth, Madame Lucrezia? To be continued. Oh, I wonder how can she really fix this? Miss Isabella de Mare, the most talented and most beautiful woman ever. I hate, I hate her. All right, guys, if you guys enjoyed the way I read and reacted to this webtoon, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!